Yo, 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 guys. If you have been on Instagram, you have seen all of these lights. And what you're looking at, every single one of these Christmas lights, you've seen approximately about 5,000 feet of it was put up by our company. This is a new sector we're getting into, is doing Christmas light installations. But this one kind of landed in our lap because it was a rehearsal dinner out at this dude's amazing property. That's his four-story guest house right there. Um, and this is Airstrip with his airplane hangar. And his house is back behind there. But enough of that. Uh, they're doing the rehearsal dinner for his uh, daughter's wedding out here at his airplane hangar And then they're getting married downtown tomorrow and they have a whole band for that So we're not really involved in but we got to do a ton of lighting and um, I'm kind of walking right beside the airstrip over here But let me show you guys a little bit of what we're doing here It's pretty cool and we'll tour a little bit of the the lighting as well So we'll get into more detail on all the Christmas lights that you see out at the road and at the houses and whatnot for tonight we added twinkle lights outlining basically where all the cars need to go so you can kind of see it it runs down and around and we actually did his whole entire run strip uh it's about 600 feet back to the back there pretty cool but then we actually have uh three of our 12 foot high t-bars those are crank stands from global stress and then i have an odyssey 12 foot runner right here atop of each one we have two wash effects twos on white and that's what's going to light up the whole entire runway here so that people can see what they're doing and can see uh, to get to their cars and whatnot. If we come down here though, we can work our way um, and see the twinkle lighting that we did and then we can look inside of what we did as well. So this little breezeway between his uh, trophy room and the airplane hangar, we hung some twinkle light strands. And then in here, we did not do any of the pipe and drape. We did do wash FX twos, or these are actually the wash FX hexes. And we're doing 16 up lights in here. Ralph said, what's up? We also are providing a microphone for them tonight. We're not DJing or anything, um, but we have the brand new LD system Maui 44 G2s and an Audio Technica 3000 4th gen wireless mic right here. And it's only used for mics. He's got his own JBL arrays up in the corners that are be used for the music. But uh, we're going to turn on all of our lights and get it set up. This is the parking. Or the parking. And there you go. The lighting goes all the way down past his airplane. It's actually 350 feet that way. And then uh, those are the Wash FX's loaded up, three 12 foot stands. All set, ready to go. And here is what inside the airplane hangar looks like with our lighting. So you got 16 of the S4s on a soft white around the room and two Wash FX hexes shining up on the ceiling. How we got them up that high was with our Georgia Expo. Those are the 30 something inch, 90 pound base plates and pipe and drape pole. Black pipe and drape pole up to about 11 and a half feet. And then I think I showed this already, but the Maui 44 G2 Audio Technica, good to go. And there you have it. We've transformed the room to a nice soft white for nice airy partying. Um, we are using a combination of two of our wash lights on the ceiling and 16 up lights around the room to achieve this look. And then in addition to that, we actually did some twinkle drapes in between here. So we have one there and we have a bigger one here. We left the opening for the sidewalk, but these are our lighted twinkle drapes. By request, we just added this in 10 minutes. Pretty hard to capture on camera, but uh, that's the lights and they go all the way down and there's actually a plane parked at the other end, but you can kind of see if I go over to the side that there's a truck at the end so you can't really see all the way down. There's a better vantage for you guys to see the full setup. We can talk about this other, but we also install Christmas lights, but this was done for the event. So, not really sure how well you guys can see me because it is very dark, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the lighting we did for all the Christmas lights. There's a lot out here, and there's cars coming, so I don't know if we could be out here. Now, it's almost incredibly hard to capture this many lights on camera. There are 500 feet of lights going down this fence line and 500 feet of lights going down this fence line. We also wrapped their whole entire gate and did a ton of lighting all that is christmas lights and we'll walk down the paths here to show you guys so there's actually 500 feet of string lights that way guys 500 that way well christmas lights these are c6 warm white christmas lights drake did a great job wrapping the whole entire gate here and then we have the whole entire pathway and you might not be able to see them because they are leds so sometimes they look like they're off but they're not based on the camera so like I said, we wrapped the whole entire gate here and we did the whole entire pathway every 30 feet 
with a post going all the way down and then their driveway is about a thousand feet and it V's up here and it goes to part of the property over there and part of the property over there with the main house. So a lot of lighting and we knocked all this out for them. Let's walk up to the house and show you guys what we're doing up there for lighting as well. All right guys, we're out here at the house and I don't wanna get too close because of privacy reasons and my camera really doesn't do this justice. So I'm gonna insert some pictures real quick that I had a professional photographer come out here for us and take some amazing photos of this installation. We're using commercial grade C9 lights on the top and the bottom it looks amazing we also wrapped their railing around their pool and of course you can see the path lighting continues all the way to their garage back around and you'll notice you'll see some areas where lights aren't showing up on my camera and that's purely because of the leds it's just how it looks on camera when you're filming and like i said this camera doesn't do it any justice but i'm going to put some pictures some more pictures here at the end of all the pictures we had taken professionally of this facility including the guest house over here where we wrapped and put some more around roof line over there but if you guys need anything contact us on our website get with us get in touch and we can install christmas lights on any house of any size we work to design it and all that fun stuff. So Greensboro Christmas Lights, check us out on FusionSoundLighting.com. That is our main company. A branch of it is the Greensboro Christmas Lights. Check us out. We'll install Christmas lights on your house. What's up, guys? We are back here at Splendor Pond. We've, we've been here quite a bit this year. Um, today, we added market string lighting today. So me and Ralph back there set up basically two X's here. There's an X there. There's an X there of our... Bistro lighting. These are actually not glass. They are plastic LED bulbs, but they look like they are glass, which is sick. So we don't have to worry about breaking bulbs. I have a whole video on how you act, we actually hang our string lights. These are not just the strands. The strands are actually connected to some stainless steel, black vinyl wrapped wire that goes from side to side. There's some collars. Go check out that video on my channel. Just look up how to hang glass string lighting. I believe in that video, I'm actually hanging glass, like actual glass. Glass. we used to do glass they now sell the plastic LEDs which are awesome they never burn out they never break they do cost more up front but they're well worth it so looks awesome and they're on dimmers too which is cool of course we also have uh, about 20 I think 22 23 uh, lights around the whole entire room those are of course the both lighting s4s my go-to up lights we have the turntable booth over here. I'm rebooting my laptop right now. Pro tip if you never caught a pro tip of any sort, always, always, always restart your computer before every event. We're running Chave Show Express back here on the HP Spectra 14T. This is the 14 inch. I don't even think they make the 14 anymore. 15 inch in for the DJ. We have our audio rack back here. Yamaha MG12 as always. Drive rack PA2 beautiful our dance floor speaker fill if you guys don't know at splendor pond we already have a built-in sound system for the whole entire room with some jbl pennants there's a six jbl pennants up there two up there and there's an 18 inch jbl prx up top that provides the full sound coverage for this room but we add some concentrated dance floor fill with a speaker the speaker of choice today is our ld systems maui 44 g2 this speaker right here, this bad boy right here, is a game changer. It costs a lot, but it's a game changer. There are people coming in right now, so I need to play some music, but they're supposed to be going outside. Quick check-in, we have an amazing fog out here over the little pond slash, oh yeah, pond. Bride and groom, right down here, taking some photos. A Little bit wet, cocktail vibes. Very good cocktail vibes today, if I do say so myself. And fire, the atmosphere, it's all perfect. <laughs> Good vibes inside and out. Inside looks amazing.
That's all. We out. Peace out. Keep them record spinning. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.